Nikolaev and Lechinov. Let's go. Here we go. Tonight's fight clock presented by Geico. Red gloves for Nikolaev, blue gloves for Lechinov. Armin Gillotin right to the roll. We saw him do that same thing with Kyle Crutchbeer. Yep. Nice job for Lashinov. Beautiful takedown by the camp, but Lashinov did a great job of threatening to get himself so he could get back to his feet. You'll see that a lot from a lot of top fighters. They'll threaten the submission on, on hoping their opponent will either let up on the on keeping them down and back out and get away or just help them get back up to their feet. But in the early part of the fight, if you if you're watching, you saw all of that nice fluid movement of Nakaya and the way he opens up and creates angles, that's what makes him dangerous. Let's go. Keep working. Trying to go for that lateral drop did not work for him. Nick I have. Trying to take advantage of this position. I think that was almost a play, John, by Lachinov to try to get the fight to the ground, regardless of whether he was on top or not, to go ahead and threaten the leg locks and the submissions. Because you see him right now. He's getting hit with some big shots, and you see him looking for the leg lock right there. Yep, there's the knee bar. Looking for it. His knee's a little clear, but he can still try to pull him back in and try to hit that reverse heel hook, as you're seeing right here. Yep. Good call, Josh. Let's see if he can finish it. And right now, he doesn't have it. In this position, you see there's pressure, but he does not have the actual angle to create that pressure to be a submission. But he was trying to use it to get on top. He just couldn't get there because the foot was in the way. Good pace early. Bellator debut for Shamil Nikayev. And 5-0 and oh inside the Bellator cage on an eight fight win streak is Cameron Lachinov. Okay. Come on, you get out. Come on. Get out. Come on, you know. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's the one. No way. From the left again. Go ahead and slam. Head you now. I want you to get out. Beautiful take down by Nakayev. Yes. Control the head. Beautiful pass into that half guard. You can see right now, Lashkov has been working very hard to stay with him, and he's getting a little tired. There's a lot of energy that goes out when you chase submissions. Yeah. So you missed the, when he missed the arm and guillotine, but he was able to get back to his feet. He's rolled through for the, uh, for the knee bar. Didn't get it. It's a lot of energy spent. Left, 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 care about, show the pressure, and the show the pressure. this is the perfect example. You can see how good, how well-rounded Shamil Nikayev is as an MMA art, uh, artist as far as what he does. He's just phenomenal in transition. And to your point, John, he said, and I quote, I fight for my people. My people are the biggest motivation for me. Chechens are warriors of a different breed. They know who I am. I will do everything to keep it this way. Well, he said that much better than I said it, but that's what I meant. <laughs> nice job on getting to the mount there. He was able to drive his knee over the three-quarter mount. He slid his hips back, and now he's Got the waist ride. Going back for that head roll through for the leg. Worked the first time. Nikayev says, uh-oh, it's not going to work the second time. Notice how Nikayev is keeping his right knee from between his legs so he can't roll yep. through on that knee bar again. Step through. Ah, he's beautiful takedown. And this is what I was talking about, Josh. You see him transition from one element to the next. You see how smooth it is. He's just dangerous everywhere, and he's just calm everywhere, which makes him effective. That was a nice, the, that was a nice defense to that knee bar. What he did when Lachinov rolled through, he just sprawled and kicked his legs back, so he wasn't able to grab the leg. 
Nick I have with a great performance in the first round. So, clean break. Uh, round two. In round number one by the 25-year-old Chechnyan making his Bellator debut. And he connects with the left after a big swing and a miss from the man unbeaten inside the Bellator cage. Both men swinging. They are swinging some heavy leather. Look at these guys go. And the smile. Well, we know the Lachinov loves it. Now we know that Nakayev loves it, too. We can't lose this round, but stand up. You work, you work, huh? You work. Yeah, let's go, camera. Let's go. Nikai making right the there, smart bro. decision in taking this fight to the <laughs> ground, by the way. Yeah, yeah, but it was good when it was good. Having a little chat. Camera. Not sure what language the they're having it in, the but they're talking. I have the elbow. Right. Elbow. Corner of Nikai. Gilbert Burns in the corner, talking about a guy that's going to walk you through how to defend that knee bar, Josh. We're talking about the top of the food chain when it comes to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Not just Jiu Jitsu, but MMA Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, just keep going. I have a belly in the corner. I have a belly in the corner. I work. Yes, another one, another one. The body too. I have a belly in the corner. Keep going. Keep going. Let's go. I have a belly in the corner. That's it. Heavy right now. The body oh. Keep working. Right hand on the hook. Stop, Keep stop, working. Stop, stop. Right with the elbow. Right with the elbow. The kimura's right there, too, Shamil. Nice job of lashing off to get him back into a full guard. Three minutes. Keep working, Shamil. Don't let him pull the, the fight up again. Keep oh. working. Oh. Just keep working. Oh. 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 Great pace set by the 25 year old. This is the type of pace you expect from a 25 year old. Yes! Domination, let's go! His positioning is just on point. He's making Lachinov work in every position, John. Lachinov is working hard. Just past the midway point of this three-round fight. Get out! Get out! That was just a beautiful underhook turn by Lashinov to get him up against the, the cage. See if he can make this high crotch work. Unable to. Both men have landed. Nikayev has landed at the higher percentage. Jumps into the turf. Keep working, keep working. Keep working. Keep little punch. Right with your elbow. That little punch right there. Little bit, let's go. Work, Shamil. Yes, like that. Just keep working. Very keep high, high, high like pace two by Nakayev. Like just Body busy on here. top. Oh. I want his head A lot of pressure. Just his head on the cage. Dunder, <laughs> Got those big yeah, hips, big thighs, just the heavy hip pressure. It just takes so much out of you. It zaps your energy when you're trying to move the, your opponent around like that. And they weigh so much and just the, the big legs to go along with it. Well, Lashinov has done an actually a really good job of getting himself out of these positions. But he has had to work really hard and burn a lot of energy to do it. Great battle in the grappling world right now. I just love what both of are doing because right now, you look at him lashing up. He's going after that high crotch again, looking for it, but. The energy and output that he has just produced in this fight now, coming back to this position. I'm waiting for him. There he goes. Oh, he's going to do it again. Yeah, go ahead. He is just, he is just rock solid tough. Did you hear what Gilbert Burns said? Don't you get crazy. <laughs> that was a nice little uppercut by Lashinov. 15 seconds, finish your strong. 10, 10, 
Yes, sir. Yes. The whole yes. time the guy was smiling at him, though, when he put his hands down. Yeah. Let him know I'm not going to be coached into this. John, John, John. What? Clean break. The corner of Lachinov has already told us what Big John would tell us. And he is down two rounds to love. Big overhand right. What he told him, though, was exactly what he needed to hear. He said, look, you lost the two rounds, okay, and you need a knockout. He also told him not to swing wild, John. <laughs> he did. He goes, but I can't have you swing wild. Straight shots. He did say that his opponent was exhausted. I think his opponent is tired, but I do not think he's exhausted. I think he still has more in the tank than they're giving him credit for. The second round to me is always the hardest because going into the third, he knows only one round left. I got five minutes. I can dig down and do this. It's that second round where you're like, I got to get through this round. And at the end of that second round, you did see Shamil's pace slow just a bit. Oh, there's no doubt. Look, he's put a lot of energy out here. Both these guys have really put out a ton in this fight. They have taken big shots. They have done a ton of grappling things. It took a lot of strength and energy. They've both been going hard. You've got a guy who's 9-0 and against a man who has not been defeated since July of 2016. Good job. That's not putting a lot of pressure right now. He's not really landing the clean shots, but he's the one putting the pressure. So the younger fighters, though, will sometimes start to wither under that, John. Yeah, but I'm, I'm telling you, I've seen the guy before. He's young, but he's got a ton of experience. He's been fighting his whole life. That's what Garasso said, John. <laughs> yeah, it's true. He used to walk that hill both ways. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, caught that one. His hands are down, John. He's starting to, starting to lose his pace a little bit. The pressure is being put on him. Notch it off with a great game plan. He's just making him miss as much as he can. Just parrying the punch a little bit and then trying to land the big shot. Notch not doing a good job of not really using that jab to, to be effective, but just to put it out there as a range fighter. Spin, but not much there. That's a lot of energy being spent out, though, because it takes a lot to take. Wow. Right now, we're seeing Akayev do the exact same thing as latching on before. Going a little bit crazy, a little Kimbo slice, putting the hands down. What a bad the midway point of the yes. third and you final round. You do it. You do it. I need a good day. Go, 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 Cameron go, Latchin off go, go, goes. He needs to finish. This is insane. I can't even watch go, this. This is insane. Latchin off is the kind of guy that you meet in the bar and you hit him with the bar stool and he just laughs at you and you know, oh, I'm in trouble. He, he, then you use the marathon technique. You drop. <laughs> Two. Oh, big left hook there, though, that landed clean. Big round three for Killer Cam. Can he finish the Chechen Wolf? Minute 30 left. Let's see. This is great. I just went from a commentator to a fan. I'm just imagining this is amazing. I'll tell you what, lashing off. You gotta love him, man, because he is just got a huge heart. He's got no stop in him. He is exhausted, but he is throwing with everything he has to try to win this fight. He's ducking under very nicely, too. Now he stumbles a bit. That's more exhaustion. I was gonna say, John, get the pace that Latchinoff has had to put on in these four minutes to try to finish Nick Ahel. It's been pretty massive as well. How do you not love a fight where both guys are just doing everything they can to put the other guy out or to stay in the fight? Unbelievable. Big rock I think I have this done here in the third round. I'm 
He's in here watching Gilbert Burns. He's telling Nikaev to just stay there. Just stay there. You won the first two rounds. Let's not make these shit. He wants him close because he knows he can't get knocked out there. If he opens up, he gets separated. It's the opposite in the other corner, though. Lachinov is corner telling him, break, break, make space. Get your head out of there. What a battle. Get as far as effort, heart, both of those guys the upside. put everything they had into it. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go now to your three judges at cage side. All three, Doug Crosby, Dave Peabody, Pete Rogers, see it exactly the same, 29 to 28, all have it for the winner by unanimous decision, Shamil, the Chechen Wolf, Nikhail. Those men, just look at them. We're just in a fight. Like a real fight. It's time to go have a beer. <laughs> you know, Here are those guys, let's go have a beer. Thank you for the show.